Welcome to Electron Line. Now we're going to try to find the volume using the theorem of Pappus Galdinas of, a, of an object that's created when we take a circle area and revolve it around the x-axis. When we do that, we get a donut-shaped object. This is the cross-section of that. There's the back end of the donut. Here would be the front end of the donut. And we're trying to find the volume of that donut when we take this area and revolve it around the x-axis using that theorem. The theorem tells us that the volume can be found by taking the area of the face here that we're revolving around the x-axis and multiplying it times the distance the center of mass of that area or the centroid of that area takes as it revolves around it. So that would take a circular path and the distance of the circular path is 2 pi times the radius of that circle and the radius of that circle would be this distance right here and that distance is equal to the, the y-coordinate of the centroid of the center of mass or the centroid of this circle right here relative to the x-axis. Now, if the distance from there to there, well, I gave it to you right here, it's 10 centimeters, so let's call that 10 centimeters. That makes it easy. Let's now plug in the numbers and see what we get. The volume is equal to the area, which is a circle, pi times the radius squared, times the distance traveled, and I'm missing this radius right there, 2 pi times the radius, and in this case the radius is 10 centimeters. The radius here is 3 centimeters. V, therefore, is equal to pi times 3 centimeters squared times 2 pi times 10 centimeters, and centimeters squared and centimeters gives you centimeters cubed. That gives us volume. And with a calculator, we can figure out what this is equal to. We have pi times pi, that's pi squared, squared times 9 times 2 and times 10. And so we have a total volume of 1,776 cubic centimeters. Let's do this now without using any kind of... Um, numbers, just straight symbols. Let's call this the radius of the path that the centroid takes. So we can write volume is equal to the area pi r squared, r would be the radius of the circle, times 2 pi times the distance from the axis to the, to the centroid, call it y with a line over it, that means the y-coordinate of the centroid. This is now equal to 2 pi squared r squared times the distance to the centroid from the axis of rotation. So that would be the general formula or the general equation, r being the radius of the area that we're revolving around the x-axis, y is the distance from the x-axis to the centroid, and then of course 2 pi squared, everybody knows what that is. So here's the numerical value if you want to give that a try and here's the general formula for a donut shaped object where the centroid is a distance y away from the x-axis and that's how we do that.